Hi, I'm Peter from Coffee Parts, and in part two of the Malconic E80 grind by weight, we're now looking at the differences between the E80 grind by weight and the smaller E65 grind by weight. David, thank you for coming on. My pleasure, Pedro. So we have the E65 grind by weight, and obviously the bigger brother, the E80 grind by weight. Yes. Do you want to dive in and explain the differences and when you'd pick one over the other? So, obviously the uh, the, the, the 65 grind by weight's been out for a, a while now. Um, We've actually and done a video on it if someone's interested. Great, great. This on this specific unit. No trouble. Um, again, great unit. Um, it has 65 millimeter discs in it. Um, it has a single fan inside for, for temperature stability. Yeah. Um, and again, just uh, on all of our grind by weight systems and uh, even the uh, the E80 standard, um, we have adaptive fan control. So. The, uh, the best or the optimal grinding temperature with our grinders is between about 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. So the fan control is designed to anticipate if you're getting to that temperature. So if you're, you're, you're putting a bit more stress on the, on the grinder, it may kick the fans in a little bit earlier to keep it cooler, yep. right? Or it'll wait till it gets that 25 degrees and then put the fans on to try and maintain that temperature because that's best uh, grind stability for our, uh, for our systems. So both have that, but this has a single fan. The, uh, the, the 80 grind by weight yeah. has two fans, has uh, one in the base and one in the back. Yeah. Um, the obvious big difference is the size of the discs. Yeah. So we have 65 millimeter flat, flat discs on the, uh, the 65s obviously, and 80 mil on the, uh, the, yeah. the E80s. Um, disc sets themselves have a very good disc profile to them. So you get very good consistent grinding with both grinders. Um, the main difference between the two, obviously, is that these are designed more for your mid-range accounts, so maybe 30 to 50 kilo a week accounts. We'll keep up to that with, with no problem whatsoever. We do have customers who have anecdotally said that they do more in them, yeah. um, but that's kind of where it sits, whereas the 80 grind by weight and the 80 Supreme, they're just set up for unlimited grinding. Yeah. If you're doing that 100 plus kilos a week, this is the grinder for you. Yeah, not only is it faster, but it's more temperature stable. It exactly. makes sense. Exactly. Um, and another thing, uh, difference between the two is we have a standard um, special steel discs in the uh, in the 65. We have the same standard special steel discs in the, uh, the the 80 grind by weight as well. However, there is another set that you can get, which is probably a longer life set. Yep. Uh, it's more of a cast disc set, very reminiscent of yep. the uh, of the EK43s of you know yeah, uh, of, of bygone era. Um, and again, you're going to get a little bit more life out of them. Um, each of these are probably rated to maybe 1.4 ton before you need to discharge. Yep. There is metrics within the grinders that uh, allow you to determine how much coffee's gone through, how many shots have gone through, and give you a determination and give you an indicator yep. at that time when it's time to change discs. Yep. As well as cleaning. It will give you a cleaning prompt on both systems. For when it comes to actually cleaning, for cleaning, the recommended clean is to use grind tablets, to say like a cafeto yes. at the end of the day, small amount. Certainly. And when would you do a deep clean and how would you do it? Um, Malconic have a particular um, uh, cleaning yeah. uh, model that they try and stick to. And for years we've tried to get the market to understand the benefit of using Grinds Cleaner from yeah. Fedo or others. The beauty of it is that uh, if you use that quite regularly, you don't need the deep clean. Yeah. You can actually get into there and, and you'll abrade away if you use it properly and we can show people how to do that. It's very simple to do. Put a cap full of Grinds Cleaner into the grinder at the end of yeah. a day's service once you've cleared the the, the grinder of coffee. Basically run it from the fine setting through to coarse and back to fine. Yep. Basically what you're doing is you're bringing the discs into contact and out of contact and you're using the the the, the, uh, the grinds cleaner to abrade away yep. that residue coffee that's sitting in the main cutting teeth of the discs. Um, for one thing, uh, the more of that coffee that's sitting in there, the less lifespan you have on your discs because if it can't grind on those main cutting teeth, it's gonna push that coffee out yep. into the fine cutting teeth and wear them down fast. Yep. So the more you can clean that away, the better it is for your I've brain. always thought putting the grind cleaner is the same process as back brushing a group head, so you should do one and the other. Exactly. Although we sell a lot more back flushing detergent than we do grind cleaner, but we are seeing the market start normalizing that it's, it is coming well we've been we've been pushing this barrow yeah. Yeah. with the with the coffee companies and roasters and and, and whoever's using it for again me for 10 years yeah. um, and Greg for longer 
because the beauty of it is that, um, and we've done testing, we've had tests done where uh, you taste your coffee with discs that haven't been cleaned properly, yep. and then you clean them with a with a grinds cleaner and, and taste the difference. And there is a marked difference in the flavor yep. profile. It's much cleaner. Um, if you and, and if you use the grinds cleaner the right way, say at the end of a day service, you grind away. There is going to be some residue left in there that's going to clear out on your your, your first clearing shot yep. in the morning. We recommend leaving it there. Yep. Okay, grind out as much as possible, but leave the residue there. The residue will actually bond to the surfaces of the disc. And coat the disc. Coat the disc, and it'll actually overnight pull out the oils yep. out of the, the discs, which you know could over time go rancid and, yep. and, and impact the flavor profile of your coffee. So when you do your first clearing shot in the morning, when you're dialing in, that's cleared out. The grinds cleaners have no flavor. They're food safe, they're, you know, yep. um, they're, they're kosher, they're halal, they're, 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 they're a perfect uh, cleaning product. Um, but that residue will take all those oils out, make your coffee taste much cleaner, make your discs last longer, and save you a lot more time when it comes to the, the daily cleaning of your grinders, because yep. you don't have to open the yep. grinder up. Yep. Then maybe once a week, once every two weeks, depending on your operation, you may want to take the, uh, the top disc cover off and get in there with a brush and a vacuum cleaner. Yep. That's as far as we go. Yep. The other thing with our grinders is we actually have a very good silicon flapper. That really should be cleaned on a daily basis. Yep. And to do that means taking the hopper off. You can do that at the end of a day service after you've done your grinds cleaner. Simply take the hopper off, undo the two screws, screws. at the top. Do not take the screws out. Yep. Don't take the screws out. Just loosen them off and you'll find that the... Yeah, and clips and comes yeah, off. The, 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 the grinder casing will open, yep. allow you to lift that top cover off, reach in, pull the flapper Flap out, in. wash it, wipe it, put it back in. Put it back in. Simple. That's all you need to do. In effect, basically the, the difference between these two really comes down to the volume your cafe is using. Certainly. In saying that, there's nothing wrong with just going beast mode and getting the biggest grinder, even if you've got a small cafe and just going all out. Certainly, um, and as we get more and more of these available in the marketplace, we're going to see more and more people going with this size because it will give you everything you need in a cafe. I just like the speed. Yeah. Like, I, I think there's nothing worse than waiting, waiting. especially constantly during the day. Yeah, so right. Speed. So definitely. again, you're talking maybe five to six seconds for a 20, 20 gram shot with the uh, with the 65 gram weight. Yeah. Whereas you're three, looking at three, three, three and a half. Three, three and a half, depending on your grind setting. So. Yeah. And five's actually a normal speed, just at three and a half fast. Sure. I'd like to know which grinder would you pick for your cafe? The E65 grind by weight or the E80 grind by weight? Let me know in the comments below. And like always, if this video has brought you value, hit that thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Thank you and see you on the next video.